Aha! Today we're talking Cage, the brief introduction to Cage. So I'm going through the playbook. This is page 14 to 15. And we're talking about open chord shapes, not chords, shapes. So we discussed there's a C shape, an A shape, a G shape, an E shape, a D shape. There's also E minor, A minor, D minor. Okay, you can move any one of those shapes across the fretboard. Let me just write down how many names do you think there are for chords in the musical alphabet? There's only seven. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. There's only seven, but there's only five shapes available to us to play those chords. So for example, if you try to play a B chord in open position, meaning there's open strings, it's not gonna work. You're either gonna need a E, a D, a C, a G, or an A shape to play one. The, the most common one is to play a B is the A shape. Move that A shape one, two towards the fretboard, towards the headstock, and you'll see it's an A shape, right? B, A. And you can keep moving A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, right? Now, so we don't have B there. What about F? Let's look at F. What is the common way to play an F? We play like that, right? If you realize and you move that same shape in its entirety, one fret towards the headstock, you'll realize it's an E shape, okay? like that but in order check it out see how it's the same shape in order to move all the notes and we don't leave any behind if we move it like that the first second and six strings are left behind and do not move but if I bring them together with the bar now all of those notes are moved together so E F and we can keep moving G this is the definition of a bar chord so we've got this one neither so we've got one two three four five open chord shapes okay and any one of those shapes we're gonna use to play the rest of the chords so a bar chord is really just an open shape, let's say A, moved up the fretboard with a bar behind it. See how I'm placing my bar behind it? But I, it's always the same shape. So we've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the other chords. Let's use, I don't know, C. I'm gonna use it like that, right? That's a C chord shape. We all play like that, but now we don't have a capo behind it. So I'm going to have to free my index finger and do this very uncomfortable position of the fingers to go like that. Okay, see how now it changed? Let's do a D, for example. I'm going to use it like that. We all play like this because it's very comfortable because we're using open strings. But once we want to move it, see how it sounds funky? But if I change my fingers and put a bar behind it, now I can start moving that chord shape to create all the other chords. So we've got open chord shapes, and then we've got bar chords with a bar and a chord shape in front of it. So an F is a bar and a chord shape in front of it. The bar is just moving all the notes left behind that chord shape to create all the other chords. Hope it helps. This is page 14 and 15 of the Beginner Guitarist Playbook. And the next one, we're going to go into tips to play bar chords because they are difficult in the beginning. Page 16 and 17, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.